Okay, Venus? Okay, Steve. Right. Let's go. Command Zero, sir. There's been another planetary explosion in deep space. Yeah, yeah, Lieutenant, I know. The computers are going crazy. What's the region? Beyond Sector 25 again, Commander. Exactly the same place as the last explosion. Yeah, this could be serious. The radiation must be colossal. We've registered six blasts in the past week. What's going on out there? Fireball XL5's in Sector 25, isn't it? Get Steve Zodiac. Maybe he's got a better reading than us. Roger, Commander. Space City to 5 all XL5. Come in, please. Come in, Steve Zodiac. Space City calling. Neutroni transmitting signal loud and clear, Lieutenant. XL5 here. What can we do for you? You yeah, reckon Space City has picked up that explosion, Steve? Could be they want more information. That's exactly it, Professor Maddock. How do you read blastings? Yeah, can you pinpoint the location? We're getting interference. Professor Maddock traced explosions to space around planet Triad, Commander. Triad? Isn't that the planet we named some months back? You've got it, Commander. It's way outside the charted sectors. We've only carried out superficial observations from the edge of Sector 25. Yeah. We reckon it's similar to Earth, but three times the size. Atmosphere and climate appear to be the same, too. Well, those explosions were certainly three times as powerful as we've known. Guess they must do everything in a big way up there. You better check try it out. And remember, Colonel, you'll be going deeper into space than ever before. Okay, Matt. Venus, you ready to cross the space frontier? I sure am, Steve. Gee, Zuni, isn't it exciting? Welcome home. Well, I think it's exciting anyway. It sure is a long way, Steve. You'd better take course Ultra 2190 Red. Yeah, I figure that's the shortest route. In about three weeks, you should see us in Triad's reach. Okay, Robert, a new course. Ultra 2190 Red. Ultra 2190 Red. There they go, Commander. They're in the uncharted area now. Try to keep them in neutroni frequency, Lieutenant. It'll be difficult. They may get out of range. Okay, Robert, take over. Maintain present course. Maintain the present course. It's 
a strange feeling, isn't it, Steve? Crossing the frontiers of space, going further than any Earth people have ever been. Yeah, it sure is, Venus. But I guess there always has to be a first time. Yep. It's the first time I've been late for coffee. <laughs> Hope it's not cold. That's the seventh explosion, Commander Zero. I can still count, you know, Lieutenant Ninety. How far is Fireball XL-5 away from Planet Triad now? She'll be in the area in approximately six days, Commander. Uh, time enough for another six explosions. What in thunder is causing them? How much further, Matt? We're still at full power. Well, I figure that... Uh... At the present rate of travel, we've got four more days. You can see uh, Planet Triad on the space graph, Steve. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see it. That blip signal. I see Planet Triad, Matt. Prepare to go into orbit. Roger, Steve. I'm getting a mighty high radiation level from outside. Guess Fireball's walls will withstand it, though. Ready to disconnect Fireball Junior. You think Zuni and Robert will be okay back in central control? Oh, I think so, Steve. After all, Robert only has to keep Fireball in orbit, and Zuni will sleep most of the time. Stand by. Disconnecting nose cone now. We're increasing speed too fast. The gravity speed. It's three times as great as Earth's. And we're being pulled at three times full power. We'll burn up. Firing main retros. But we'll use too much fuel, Steve. Can't be helped, Matt. We'll disintegrate. Fire main retros. Speed increasing again, Steve. Okay. Fire retros once more. But, but the fuel, Steve. We won't have enough for liftoff. We'll worry about liftoff later. Firing auxiliary retros. We're still traveling too fast, Steve. We're going to have to use emergency retros and fuel brakes. It's working. We're slowing up. Steve, the fuel's run out. We can't use the retros again. Hold tight. We're going to crash land. <laughs> Sorry about the bump. I'll run a check to see what shape Junior's in. Well, we're out of fuel, but the ship's in one piece. We sure were lucky to get away with that crash landing. Let's take a look around on our jetmobiles. Remember the gravity, Steve. You'll need three times as much power to fly your jetmobile. Okay, Max. It's crazy out here. Now I know what an ant feels like in an orchard. Come on, Matt. Get the lead out of your space boots. You just got to see this.
running out of fuel. This is beginning to be a habit. It's, uh, it's the increased power we had to use, Steve, to combat gravity pull. I guess we'll have to walk. Gee, I feel as heavy as a lump of lead. in this overgrown wilderness. Okay, Steve. I'll just follow this path for a short way. It might be a way out of the jungle. By Jubilee! The animals are three times the size, too. <laughs> Matt, use your thruster pack. Steve? Steve? Where are you? I'm over here, in the tree opposite yours. How about you, Venus? Steve, Matt, I can't hold on much longer. The coma ray is no use. The cat is too big to be affected. Steve, help me. Hold on, Venus. Be alarmed, we mean you no harm. No harm, no, no, no. We only want you to help us, please. What goes on here? Hey, Matt, everything on this planet, it's three times as large as Earth, right? Right, Steve. And guess that goes for the people as well, by Jupiter. I feel kind of scared, Steve. Everything's so big. Do not worry, ma'am. We are peace-loving people here on Triad. We know that you have come from another planet. And that is the problem we want you to help us with. Yes, to help us with, yes. Yes, like you, we want to travel in space, but our experimental rockets keep exploding. There's the answer to those giant explosions, Matt. They must have been the Triad's rockets. Yeah, guess so, Steve. Uh, but uh, how can we help, Mr... Uh, uh, I am Graf. I am Snap. Glad to meet you. I'm Steve Zodiac, and my partners are Professor Maddock and Venus, our doctor of space medicine. You have good faces, Earthlings, and we need your help badly. Yes, badly. We know you are far advanced in the art of space travel. Please tell us, what is wrong with our rocket fuel? Yes, tell us, and please help us. Many more failures, and our government will abandon the space shot program? Yeah, now, we've had the same problem. Well, well Matt, what do you think? Well, it uh, seems to me we need a reliable fuel as much as they do, Steve. Yes, to get Fibel Junior into the air. And remember, Steve, they did save us from that giant lion. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look at this fuel of yours. You mean you'll do it? Do it? Seems to me we could all help each other a sight more than we do. Uh, we'll give you all the help we can. Yeah, everything you need. 
Come, Snuff. Let us get a sample of the rocket fuel. Yes, let us. Well, for giants, they sure have nice manners. Yep. Guess Planet Triad must be over a hundred years behind Earth in development. If they're still trying to get their first rocket into speech. I'm glad you promised to help them, Steve. They're real cute. Well, if we wanted to escape, we'd sure have a long jump ahead of us. Oh, I've just thought, Steve. We must get back to Zuni soon. I didn't leave any food for him. Oh, he'll be okay for a while. You know, what worries me is how he's getting along with Robert. Hope he's not driving him crazy again. <laughs> I can just imagine it. Zuni will say, uh, welcome home. Yeah, yeah, and Robert will answer, on our way home. And Zuni will reply, welcome home. And so it will go on. Yeah, yeah, quite a pantomime, I bet. <laughs> oh, no. rocket fuel. Uh, Snuff is bringing some equipment we have just made that may help you. <laughs> By Jingo, not so hard. Remember, we're only little people compared with you. I, I am sorry, Professor. I <laughs> quite forgot myself. Come on, Matt. Let's get to work on that fuel. Yes, Professor. Remember Zuni. Sure. Reckon I've uh, found out the problem. The uh, heliodronic base is uh, is too dense. It's okay in atmosphere, but as soon as the oxygen leaves it in space, well, up she goes. Can you uh, can you correct the fault, Professor? Well, now uh, <laughs> I reckon I could. Uh, uh, Steve, uh, bring over that bottle, will you? Roger, Matt. I sure I'm glad you two big fellas fixed up this wheelbarrow for us. Uh, uh, can you bring me a, a couple of handfuls of that powder, Venus? Yes, Professor, when I've got the cap off the bottle. The uh, Professor will make a sample mixture, and then we can produce it in quantity snuff. Good grab. The correct formula is all we need. We'll soon be through here, Steve. Daddy Professor, don't spill it. On our way home. It is ready for firing, thanks to our Earth friends. Thank you, Earth friends. Yes, yes, they did a wonderful job. Now, let's keep our fingers crossed and hope it works. Well, it should, Matt. It's the same basic formula that we use on Earth. It's just got to work, or we'll never leave here. And Zuni will starve. Ten seconds to go. Yes. Nine. Yes. Eight. Correct. Seven. Good boy. Six. Five, Five, four, three, two, two. one, 
Zero. Aye, off. Aye, he said. Atmosphere. She's in space. You did it, Matt. It's wonderful. The triads have taken their first steps to conquer space. And it is all due to you three fine little people. Fine little people. However, can we reward you? It's been a pleasure to help two nice guys like you. Yeah, it sure has. But there is one thing you can do. Help us fill Fireball Jr. with a new fuel. Oh, uh, we, uh, we hoped you would stay on Triad for a while. Yes, we hoped so. I'm sure our government would like to honor you all for your invaluable service to our planet. It's very kind of you both. But you see, we have a pet in our orbiting mothership, and by now he'll be very weak from lack of food. Yes, <laughs> and we also have a robot that I reckon will need recharging by now. So you see, Graf and Snaff, we've just got to go. Of course, we understand. But we want you to know that it's been a pleasure meeting and working with you. Yes, and a privilege. Please return to Triad soon. There will always be a warm welcome awaiting you. Okay, Matt, your fuel worked in the Triad rocket. Let's hope it does in Fireball Junior. Standing by for liftoff, Steve. Firing liftoff rockets now. Goodbye, Earth people. Bye-bye. And thank you. Uh, yes, and come again soon. So long. So long. Au revoir. Someday we will be flying to other worlds, Spell. Yes, Graf, yes, yes. I hope they are all as friendly as our Earthlings. Okay, I'll get XL5 underway. You check out those two pets of ours. <laughs> yes, look at them. Guess they both worn themselves out arguing. Come on, Zuni. Let's get you into the lab. You must be starving. And you'll have to come to Fireball's workshop, Robin. Well, Steve's back safely in Sector 25, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. That sure is a relief. I was kind of worried about them. There's no room for sentiment in the service, Lieutenant. Take everything calmly the way I do. Fireball, XL5 to Space City. Steve, it's good to hear you, boy. Are you all OK? Been some anxious moments down here. Yeah, Commander, we're all just fine, and we're on our way home. On our way home, on our way home. Keep on course, Robert. Keep on the course, keep on the course. <laughs> I wish I was a spaceman, the fastest guy alive. I'd fly you around the universe in Fireball XL5. Way out in space together, conquers of the sky. My heart would be a fireball, a fireball. Every time I gazed into your starry eyes We'd take the path to Jupiter And maybe very soon We'd cruise along the Milky Way And land upon the moon To a wonderland of stardust We'll zoom our way to Mars My heart would be 